and welcome back to the Longchamp Global Champions Tour here in Antwerp in Belgium. Joining me is German rider Daniel Doisser. And Daniel, as we look down at your arm, the new Longchamp World number one, how does it feel? Yeah, a little bit more pressure on the right arm in the moment. <laughs> um, no, uh, for me it's a really, really nice feeling. It's something um, that stays for a lifetime, something uh, was a goal that we uh, tried to achieve the last couple of months and uh, I'm very, very happy that it worked out. And, and from, from your, your point, point of view, view it followed on for an amazing year, year including that, that World Cup final. I mean, what has the last 18 months been like for you? Because it's been yet another level. Uh, definitely, the last uh, 12 to 18 months I had really, really good results with different horses. I was in a lucky position to always get a few new horses. And um, yeah, I had the best results in my career so far in the last 18 months. Well, and, and Miami, going back to that already, you were part of that for the Launching Global Champions Tour. Top three in the American Invitational there. The battle with you and Scott Brash for that world number one now continues. I hope it continues a little bit. Um, <laughs> I think that month he's a little bit ahead of me, so I have to try and get some better results next month. But uh, no, it's nice if you can uh, stay on top of the world in the first five, let's say like that. I think they're all very, very close together. Um, yeah, it's a nice game in between. Absolutely, hopefully the pressure's on your arm for a little bit longer yet. I know from the results it certainly will be. From your point of view as well, your super gray horse, Cornet to more. talk about how that horse has gone up a gear as well. It, it really is a superstar. Absolutely. Uh, Cornet, I have now uh, a bit more than two years, two and a half years, and he really helped me to the best uh, success in my life. He won the World Cup final last year, he won several Grand Prix. I was uh, part of the European Championships, I wrote my first World Equestrian Games with him. He's just a um, super character, uh, top quality horse with a good technique, and uh, he knows what to do in the ring. Now, from your point of view, you're obviously riding for Germany, but actually you're based here in Belgium these days, aren't you? Yes, we're based at uh, Stefex Stables in Wolverton, which is uh, very close to here. It's just half an hour by car. And um, yeah, I feel a little bit at home here in Belgium. <laughs> You've been able to go home each night, I think, from that point of view. But not uh, one or two sleepless nights as well, because you're, you're now a father, aren't you? How's that feeling? <laughs> yeah, that's a special feeling. Um, little Stella is now two months old. It is, um, it's difficult to describe the feeling. I think people who have kids, they, uh, they know it, I don't have to explain it, and people who do not have kids, uh, I cannot explain it. It brings some kind of happiness in your life, which is unbelievable, yeah. And has it changed your attitude to your riding and your competition these days? Yeah, the focus or the priority is a little bit on Stella in the moment, so um, if you have a bad round, you absolutely don't think about your bad round anymore, and uh, yeah. There are things to look forward when you go home. Well, maintaining that world number one now you've got there, as you say, you can never have that taken away. I mean, the next few weeks now is going to be serious competition maintaining that, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the whole summer we have a lot of uh, a lot of good shows this year, which is also a result of the Global Champions Tour. I think uh, with the years the Global Tour developed and uh, a lot of other five-star events uh, came along as well. So. Um, I'm not going to go to Madrid next week, uh, but we have to the next show or the next global tour for me is Shanghai. And the horses also leave already end of next week, so it's a few busy weeks are coming. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, from that point of view. And you mentioned it there, and the Launching Global Champions Tour, and, and speaking as the Launching World number one, really has changed the sport, hasn't it? It's changed irrevocably. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm still quite young, I do that now for a couple of years. But uh, if I look back, uh, I remember five, six, seven years ago, there were not as many five stars as we have now. So it's brought the whole sport up. And uh, for us, of course, we have now the possibility to go to these shows, to these events of the Longjing Global Champions Tour. Most of the events for us are also a little bit holidays. We have uh, <laughs> very famous venues. Uh, most of the time it's very nice weather. Only two horses to take. So. Uh, yeah, we are lucky. Well, we head to the likes of Cannes and Monaco. We can usually find something to do when we're not a little bit of the downtime. Uh, from your point of view, Grand Prix, what horse are we looking for in the Grand Prix? I'm uh, bringing Pironella tonight in the Grand Prix. I wrote her also in the Grand Prix in Miami. Um, was a little bit unlucky there in the second round. We had a little misunderstanding. But uh, I think she's in a great form, and 
I am looking forward to a good result tonight. Well, well we've, we've seen, seen a host, host of good rounds from that horse and, and from you as well. well. Thank, Thank you very, very much for joining, joining us. Delighted to say launching world number one. And uh, good, good luck in the Grand Prix later on, Daniel. I hope it all goes well. I know you've got lots of people watching here, haven't you? Thank you. <laughs> so Daniel uh, is going to be a part of that Grand Prix lineup a little bit later, as you say, going into the afternoon and uh, into the evening tonight, where we'll uh, crown another champion on the Longines Global Champions Tour. Join us for all of that here in Antwerp. Thank you.